Hi, from hanging earrings to bedding to mud fireside, this is another week's worth of Trinidad Bhojpuri words and phrase. I'm Karen mm. Dunn. And I'm Dr. Visham Bimal from Caribbean Industry. So let's jump right into another week's worth of Trinidad Food, Food, Food and Praise. On Monday, well, for those of you familiar with the 60s Bollywood movies and the soundtracks, it was probably really difficult to escape the Asha Bhosle classic for Monday's word. <laughs> Jhumka. Jhumka was chosen on Monday. Right. Um, and if you look at the various types of jewelry, apart from a jewelry for a specific part of the body, also you have different ways to fashion jewelry for the same part. So, yes, Jhumka means earring, but it's not just any earring. It's not like an earring stud. It um, is actually a large earring that's shaped like a bell, right? Mm -hmm. um, that was part of the Sura, Singar, or 16 adornments that, well, you would say Hindu women used to wear, but I mean, it was the style for irrespective of whatever religion you were. So it was just the style that women used to wear. So it didn't matter if you were Hindu, a lot of the women would dress like that. Okay, good. So Jhumka on Monday. Um, so we went straight into Tuesdays with Chakti. Was uh, used on Tuesday. Now, some were stumped by this, but those who gave a response is said to pitch, to pop, or to splash. Yeah, and that was the meaning. And the song for reference is um, Lawa Bujawa Naki Morejai. It kind of goes, the first is go, um, Ace, um, JC, JC, Lawa Chakke. Would chat kid use? Oh, we say, we say, Dulahin ke or Dulaha ke, Maya chat ke. So, yeah, it means a splatter, a splash, to pop in the context of a lava as well. It's a pop, but to agitate in general. Any little move or agitate, yeah. But usually inanimate things, right? But in this song, I mean, they describe people, so they were basically describing how the people move, just like the pop in the rice party, um, Suri dance, right? And we all know how the um, lava. Bunje uh, ritual goes. <laughs> and then we rolled into our midweek phrase, Sapha Kare, Sapha Kare. And uh, those who worked it out uh, put Sapha, Sapi, and right. uh, then they got to clean or to wipe. Right. Um, yes, yeah, so we did Sapi already as a noun. So Sapi, we derive had an E to Sapha, which means clean, which is the adjective. Um, often in Trinidad, Bhojpuri. You would add the verb curry to an adjective or a noun to yield a, a compound, right? So, a compound verb. So, sapha is the adjective to clean. So, adding the curry, you get sapha curry to do clean or to do cleaning, right? So, yeah. So, that's how you derive to clean, right? Or at a wipe, that's where people get the concept of wipe. But the wipe is another word, actually. Wiping is one method of cleaning. Mm hmm. Right. Right. So Sapha Kare was our phrase on Wednesday. Bichona. Bichona was our word for Thursday. Trinidad Hood for a word on Thursday. Bichona. And this was an interesting one because um most people said bed bedding or bedspread or mattress. There those were the top answers. Munif on Facebook said a collective noun. Um, it is bedding used for temporary sleep arrangements on the floor, generally mats, the sheets, blankets, pillows. Of course, this has now been replaced by sponge or foam or an even air mattress. Uh, but I want you to, to also uh, break this down for someone who, remember in our previous video, we had Bichwa, Bichwa, and Bichu, and Somehow she thought bichona was related to those words and she thought it had something to do with a scorpion. Right. Often I'd show the kind of etymology, or at least how he derived the words, right? The derivation from the roots. So 
there's a social context to this as well as a linguistic context. So remember, long ago, people might not have been, or at least during the internship time, people might not have been rich enough to buy a bed. A bed was seen as luxury. There's another Hindustani word for bed. The verb bitawe, same cha as pretty cha, right? Um, or bichade, or any related words to that. It means to spread or to scatter, right? Bikhre zulfi, that's a popular one. Bikhre is another, another variant of the same um, bicharna, bikharna. You see the relationship there. The cha becomes ka, which is a variant. So what we do now is we add the na at the end to create the noun, which is another suffix because bicha would be the um, root, right? Um, mm -hmm. So you get the noun of spread, which would be spreading, and or now in this context, bedding. So it's really bedding, right? How it would have come to mean a bed or a mattress is that over time people would have I guess move up the social ladder and be able to buy something to lie down. So that, I remember as, as I explained that language changes as the context changes. So that the younger generation now, even though they refer to it as the same thing, something to sleep when it initially meant spreading or just like somebody said, a temporary place to lie down, they would still have referred to the mattress as the same thing. So that's how slowly over time it would have come to mean a mattress or a bed, right? Um, it occurs in Hindi, but it's more common in Bhojpuri as Trinidad Bhojpuri. Again, it, it, it describes the village lifestyle. A lot of the words we would have would um, allude to practice and traditions within a village context. So, you yes, see the relationship. Bitawe, mm -hmm. bitauna. Right? There's a lot of suffixation that takes place with Trinidad Bhojpuri. Hindi included, but you tend to find most of these suffixations are archaic in modern standard Hindi, but it still exists as in Trinidad Bhojpuri. This took us to Friday, where we wrap up the week usually with a food-related word, and you don't get more food-related than chulha. Chulha was a Bhojpuri word on Friday, and it was interesting to note someone pointed out, but you spelled it wrong because it's C-H-U-L-H-A and our spelling was C-H-O-O-L-H-A-A. -A. Right. Um, the actual, so it, it's not Tulha, right? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people would say tul Tulha. Most of the people from the Indian diaspora or Trin, you know, Trinidadian, the early Indo Trinidadian community would say Tulha. It's not Cha. It's our regular unaspirated Cha, right? Um, so I grew up with Chulha, Chulha, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, spell it from Hindi as well as Bhojpuri is a long O, is a long O. So I guess our transliteration or, well, our standardization we use for a long O is O-O. So that's why we spelled it as O-O. Whereas a U by itself would be O, oh, like in put. So it was not Chulha. Some people do pronounce like that, by the way, but that's anglicization. Um... Is chulha, right? And well, chulha is a specific type of stove that's made with dirt, and we use it with lipe already with gubar. We use that word too. Um, it's made with dirt, and the purpose of using the gubar is to kind of keep it intact, right? To kind of withstand the changes in temperature, weather, humidity, so it wouldn't crack. Um, and it's specifically shaped in such a way so that a round pot bottom could fit on it um irrespective of the depth so have you ever cooked on a chulha me yeah i mean when i was growing up most of the stuff we used to do for prayers and thing they used to make any chula my grandmother had a chulha a few so chula cooked food was something i guess quite common in my childhood mm. and is it true that chulha food tastes much better than ordinary gas Oh, yeah, well, my grandmother food actually used to taste good. Mm -hmm. um, a specific imagery would be because they had cows as well. Mm -hmm. Would be a big pot with milk on top of the chulha boiling. And then we did it with sardhi already. So the sardhi associated with that. Okay, so that takes care of another week of Trinidad Bhojpuri words and the phrase. So we had chumka, we had chatke, we had a midweek phrase, sapakare, we had bichauna, 
and we wrapped up with Chulha. So uh, thank you so much for being a part of uh, this week of uh, Trinidad Bhojpuri Words and Phrase. We have fresh words for you up on uh, social media. Uh, by the way, Dr. Bhima, remind us how our friends can get in touch with you. Right. So Caribbean Hindustani on Facebook, CaribbeanHindustani.org, and Caribbean Hindustani on YouTube. Great. I'm Karen Das. And I'm Dr. Vishambi Mola of Caribbean Hindustani. Catch you next week. Bye. Bye.